No. You haven't even heard his idea. No good idea starts with snakes. Raising them. See? We just take that wasted land we no, have. No, see? no, no, no. It is not wasted land. It is cemetery land. It is consecrated ground and sacred. Oh, and, and snakes aren't sacred, Warren? You ever hear of a book called Genesis, Warren? Bible. <laughs> hey, what happened? Someone let the air out of Warren? I am taking my blood pressure. It goes very high when I run. So don't run. I have to run. Why do you have to run? It lowers my blood pressure. <laughs> Anybody want a Pop-Tart? <laughs> I wish everyone ate like him. We'd do a booming business. <laughs> Is that right? Now I'm a murderer? Just because I love God's bountiful potpourri of snacks? I'm a murderer now? Is that what I am? And he's off. Okay, I'm a murderer. Raul. <laughs> Raul, I'm a murderer now. Call the cops, tell them to come here, hit me on the head and arrest me. Or better yet, have them hit Warren on the head and arrest me. Forget about it. Just have them hit Warren on the head. <laughs> Why can't you leave him alone? <laughs> I'm curious, what do you feed a snake that size? Uh -huh, I see. And, and what if we don't live near a school? Oh, I'll call you back. What did we say about knocking? But this is my office. It has always been my office. <laughs> you and your traditions. <laughs> Okay, Warren, any time you want to use your office, you just say the word and I'll scram. I want to use my office. Now's not good. <laughs> I have the Whiteside family coming in. The Whitesides are mine? You... You stole my Whitesides? Why are you getting so... Why am I getting so? You take a person's Whitesides and you ask them why are they getting so? Should you be getting excited? I don't know. I... I never got excited until I met you. <laughs> we should talk about that. Ernie, there's a man here to see you, someone named Ringo Prowley. Ringo? Ringo Prowley? Oh, no. I knew he'd find me. I knew it. Ernie, who is he? Nobody. <laughs> what have you done now? Me? Look who's throwing stones. Glass houses, Warren. Glass houses. Ringo happens to be my best friend, okay? We were even partners once, until some dame who couldn't dance a step waltzed in and broke up the act. Ernie, that's not your life, that's Easter Parade. <laughs> so? Oh, wait! Ringo Prowley! He was your dad's best friend, and when your dad died, he raised you and taught you everything you knew about surviving by your wits. Now, everywhere you go, he follows you, asks you for a job, and because you owe him so much, you always give him one, and then he gets you into trouble. Aside from that, it's kind of a blur. <laughs> Well, this time there'll be no trouble. No job for Ringo. No matter how much he begs, no, no matter how much he brings up old times. Like that week in Albany. Or, or that one Mardi Gras. <laughs> My God, I still don't know what made us think Al Hurt was afloat. <laughs> you mounted Al Hurt? Just for three blocks. What was I talking about? No job. Exactly. Hold this, Warren. Uh, what, what about the white sides? Glass houses, Warren. Wait, well, you, you can't do that to me. You, you can't do that to them. You dropped a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Perfect. Ringo, you low-life scoundrel, you. Ernie, you large-breasted waitress. <laughs> Long time, uh, huh? You need a haircut. I just got one. You were robbed. <laughs> hey, very nice. Huh? So, what's the setup? Setup? Here, all this and this and this. People think you run a real mortuary. It is a real mortuary. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, uh, what brings you this way? He asked foolishly. <laughs> Last I heard, you were working the coast. Which coast, Ernie? 
I've been on lots of coasts. I was in Alaska, Mexico, Arkansas. I, I didn't know Arkansas had a coast. No, how about Argentina? Has that got a coast? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What do they speak there? Spanish. I was in Argentina. <laughs> and now you're here. A business trip? No, actually, I find myself between jobs at the moment. You don't say. And broke? At the moment. <laughs> Ernie, excuse me. The white sides are in your office. Not all of them, of course. One of them is dead. That's the one that's not there. <laughs> Kay Ringo, two can play at this. You don't want to ask me? Fine. Ask you what? You want to drive me crazy? Fine. You can stay the night. You can even have a pillow. And by the way, if you're hungry, there's some coleslaw in the fridge. <laughs> I want you to know how deeply we will all feel the loss of such a pillar of our community. A pillar? An absolute pillar. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Ernie Lapidus. Hi, Mrs. Whiteside. And, and these, these are, are your lovely children, Gretchen and Lars. <laughs> I loved your father. He was probably the finest man I ever knew. Oh, please. <laughs> No, I, I didn't. I didn't mean he, he. Ernie, can I speak to you outside? In a minute, Mrs. Whiteside. You are a lucky woman. <laughs> Your husband cared enough to arrange his funeral needs well before his death. The casket, the music, the minister. Oh, that is such a relief. Of course it is. All that's left for you to do is pick out a dress. Well, I just thought I'd wear one of my black ones. Not for you, for him. Cool. <laughs> Ernie, can, can I speak to you? Wait. My daddy wanted to be buried in a dress? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ernie, can I speak to you? Oh, no, no, no. I see the mistake. My husband was a veteran. He probably wanted to be buried in full dress. Actually, he requested something mid-calf. <laughs> Ernie, can I speak to you? <laughs> you are not seriously suggesting that we bury a man in a dress, are you? I'm not sure I follow, Warren. <laughs> a man? Yes. In a dress? I'm sorry, I lost you again. <laughs> What part don't you get? <laughs> My brother-in-law, he gets excited. It can't be good for him. Mr. Lapidus, I'm sorry, but this, this doesn't make sense. My husband had no interest in women's clothing. That's right. Daddy wouldn't be caught dead in a dress. <laughs> Dad played dress-up for years, and we all knew it. I knew nothing of the sort. Oh, right. You really think he lost his eyebrows in a carburetor fire? <laughs> he was never mechanical. Oh, what about Halloween? How come you always went as Sonny and he was Cher? <laughs> he had better legs. <laughs> Daddy did have nice legs. Just because your father was handy with a razor does not mean he was homosexual. Not homosexual, a transvestite. Leading researchers say that 85% of all cross-dressers lead fully heterosexual... Oh, shut up. <laughs> you know, Warren, I would have made a damn fine homosexual. <laughs> I have a good eye for color. I love old musicals. I I won't have this, do you hear me? I am not paying one dime to have my family embarrassed. 
Today's your lucky day. It's paid in full. Well, then, give it back. I can't. I make a deal. I honor it. I am a man of principle. A principle. Now you're a man of principle when it means ruining the business. <laughs> First it's Easter Parade, then he's riding Al Hurt. Now it's dresses to say nothing of snakes! <laughs> well, I won't have it. Do you hear me? I will not have it. I don't feel good. And you think I feel good seeing a family at each other's throats? No, I... I don't feel good. Cool. <laughs> Dying, is that it? Oh, I've been telling you for two days. You fainted because your blood pressure got too high, and you let yourself get agitated, and you have no sense of humor. From that, you could faint? No, it's just something I wanted to tell you. Just before I blacked out, Deb, I thought this is the end. This is really, really the end. I face death every day, but never my own. I, I never thought about it before. I mean, what happens to me after I die? Raul gives you a sponge bath. <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. When I go, my death will be in Ernie's hands. Well, I can't have that. Ernie Lapidus is not going to bury me, and I am going to walk into that office, and I am going to tell him. The deadly cobra can strike up to four times in two seconds. Not Ernie, did you notice? Yes, and don't ever do that again. <laughs> I've got something to say. It concerns me, so I'm not going to beat around the bush. What is this? This? It's nothing. But I have some important advice for you, Warren. Never, ever order a pool cue through the mail. <laughs> You were saying, Warren? Warren! I looked that up, by the way. Come see. Warren, a place where rabbits live. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? You were saying? Yes, just that I think that a funeral is a solemn occasion. It should be subtle. It should be dignified. My thoughts exactly. Roll! <laughs> much, much better, especially around the bodice. But what is this? A brown purse? A, a brown purse with blue shoes? Did they teach you nothing at MIT? <laughs> now go, re accessorize. <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> Dignified. Well, thank you. And thank you for sharing that with me, Warren. Anytime you want to I drop can't it... let you bury me. I'm going to make arrangements at another mortuary. There. I've said it. You... You want to plan a funeral, Warren? Is that what you want? Well, then plan two, because this is going to kill your sister. My sister understands. Ex-sister! Where I come from, a man who betrays his family has no family. You, Warren, are out of our family. Your family? From this moment on, you do not exist. Oh, Ernie, don't be like this. <laughs> Ernie, don't be silly. Ernie, cut that out! Ernie, something's come up. Debbie, Ernie won't talk to me. Why won't you talk to Warren? Warren who? What did you do? Me? Oh, never mind. I don't even want to hear. Listen, Ernie, you just had a call. The minister for the Whiteside funeral can't be here. What, what, what? Why can't he be here? Well, he was hiking with some other ministers. Apparently, they have this club. And one of them <laughs> fell on a can of old Vienna sausages. They all fell off the mountain. Now there's a snowstorm coming, and they're all stuck on an icy ledge singing Kumbaya. <laughs> Other than that, there's not much I can tell you. Okay. No minister, no problem. I still have a half an hour to find another one. But you can't. They're on the ledge. They're singing. Oh, wait a minute, dear. What was that word, can't? I don't think I know that word. 
Ringo! No! 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 He is not a minister. The white side can sue us for fraud. Do you hear something, Debbie? A noise? Okay, fine. Fine. I do not exist. Warren does not exist! What am I yelling? They're dead. <laughs> Ernie, you Navajo tribeswoman, you. <laughs> Are you a minister? Oh, I have been, like that time in Atlanta when Ernie and I married that man. Well, a his... simple yes will do. <laughs> now, now, find a suit. I have a job for you. No, thanks. I came to say goodbye. What goodbye? You wanted a job. I'm giving you a job. I couldn't work here. This is a mortuary. There are dead people all over the place. You can't go. I need you. Sorry, it's not for me. I couldn't stay here. Uh-uh, not if you begged me. Not if you got on your knees and begged me and offered to pay me $175. See, so 160 is out of the question. If you offered me 160, I'd be on the first bus out of town. That's a shame because 225 is all I have. Then I don't want to waste your time. Not for under 100. Uh, unless I made a phone call and scraped up 350. Make two, call it 140. 200. 120. 175. Done. Bye, <laughs> you <laughs> 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 What could you say about a life? Episcopalian. What can one say about a life? <laughs> Words fail me. And I am saddened when I think of this man's life cut so suddenly short. And by what? By death. <laughs> but what is death? but a part of life, usually the last part. <laughs> and when I search for comfort in these times, I call to mind my old Uncle Solomon Fine and the very last words he said on earth, I need to be changed. <laughs> now I understand what those words meant. Because we all need to be changed. Yes, we do. We're all sinners in the Lord's eyes. Yes, we are. And I want you to think about that as we pass the collection plate. <clears throat> or not. Because when God looks out there, he doesn't see a woman in a big black hat. He sees a child of his. And when he looks up here, he doesn't see a man in a box. He sees... What the hell is this? <laughs> a woman. Ernie, you screwed up. You got the wrong stiff. No, no, just, just, just keep going. Well, we're supposed to bury a man, and up here is the ugliest woman I ever saw. It is a man. What is? Get out of here. What is this, a joke? <laughs> Lipstick, earrings, what kind of man gets sent off looking like Ida Lupino? My husband, that's what kind, and I won't have you mocking him. John Whiteside was a good man. He was faithful to me. He believed in God. He held me when I was afraid. Who cares how he dressed in private? He was all man to me. And any woman would be proud to let him wear her bra. <laughs> So let him rest in peace. And anyone who asks, you tell him my husband was a... was a... Say it! My husband was a transvestite! Way to go, Mom! Oh, my God, I feel 50 pounds lighter. I mean, just saying it for the first time, my husband was a tra... My husband was a transvestite! Okay, Mother. And my daughter is a lesbian! <laughs> Like we didn't know. 
And I have been sneaking cigarettes for years. Me too. You smoke? No, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> so am I. And I married my cousin. I like to shower with bikers. I love my horse and my horse loves me. Hi. My name is Steve. Hi, Steve! <laughs> yep, I still got the touch. <laughs> he did it again. He, he, he did it again. They always get what they want. They want to go out in a dress or with 30 monks playing kazoos. That's what they'll get because that's what they want. You're right. Warren! My brother-in-law is back. <laughs> oh. Now about those snakes. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Tomorrow night, your front row center for the musical event of the year. All of the world's number one recording artists all on one stage for the 1990 Billboard Music Awards. And if you can name comedy's heaviest hitters, you can probably guess the names of our surprise guest stars when Comic Strip Live presents the Laugh Factory's 10th Anniversary Special next.